Heavy rain falls across San Diego County and it comes with flooding, strong winds and even snow. I'm Catherine Garcia and I'm Mark Mullis. So that storm system also is bringing some lightning at times in Ramona. Lightning strike hit a pine tree, snapped it in half. Lightning also struck a palm tree and set this one on fire. Homeowner says what was even more mind boggling was this seven feet away from that pine tree was the home's propane tank. The homeowner says she felt blessed that lightning hit the tree, missed the tank. Thankfully, nobody was hurt and her house also did not get any damage. And this is what it looked like in the Tijuana River Valley by Hollister Street near Monument Road. With the rain, raw sewage and trash is flowing into the U.S. from Tijuana. The area is always prone to flooding, as you know, which makes the flow of raw sewage an even bigger concern. On the U.S. side, they've been working on a project to widen the basin to ease the problem, but the real fix is going to have to come from the Mexican side of flooding conditions will also create potential problems for all of the stables out there. Owners are ready to evacuate their horses if need be. Meanwhile, farmers in the North County say they have been waiting months for this rain. They love it. One of the owners of Nature's Finest Harvest in Escondido said his crops and his pocketbook love the rain. They have 16 acres and grow lime trees and guava. Extremely important. Uh, not only do we save on water, uh, you can tell the difference on the trees, the fruit. Uh, it just, it just, it helps every all around. The crops are not ready to be picked just yet, but they will be soon. And good news for the consumer: it likely will produce products which are cheaper. The rainstorm in San Diego is also bringing some snow. This is uh, Palomar Mountain on Crestline Road. Our first alert weather watcher, George Lucia, woke up to the dusting of snow this morning. It's like a snow globe. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's uh, find out how much more of this wet stuff is coming. Here's Dagmar. So as we head through our Thursday, we will continue to see just a, a few more showers. Really, some showers, some pockets of heavy rain, but the heavier rain to be expected down kind of through that central and southern portion of the county, mostly over into the west of the mountains. Although an isolated drop of rain is still possible in the deserts, you've seen good rainfall so far. So throughout the course of your Thursday, slowly tapering rain and or showers, the deserts you'll hit a high of about the mid 60s. Very comfortable out there. The mountains, you'll be in the mid 40s, so very chilly day in store for you with the overnights having brought you some potential snowfall, especially in Palomar, Mount Laguna, the inland valleys. You'll see that mid 60 mark in the coast. You'll end up seeing right around the low 60s as well, the upper 50s into the low 60s. Isolated showers and or sprinkles continue, but taper as we head through our Thursday. Impersonators who abducted and carjacked a man late last night. Police say the victim was driving in the area of Southwestern College. He was on his way to a friend's house when two white SUVs pulled up next to his car, blinded him, someone inside with a bright light, and demanded he get into one of the SUVs. Investigators say the victim did get a good look at one of the suspect's t shirts or jackets, which read police across the chest. The victim was dropped off at Paseo del Rey Park. He was not hurt, but the kidnapper stole his car. A big change at the San Diego Police Department's crime lab. STPD has placed a police captain in charge of the lab for the first time in more than 20 years. The department transferred Captain Stephanie Rose to replace Jennifer Shen, a civilian, to oversee the lab. This comes after the Voice of San Diego reported that the lab had lowered testing standards for certain uh, rape test kits to clear a backlog. The police chief then announced that all rape kits would undergo the same testing procedures. The San Diego Police Department will be getting four new helicopters over the next five years to replace its aging fleet. The City Council approved the spending agreement with Airbus helicopters at Tuesday's meeting. The four choppers currently in use were purchased about 15 years ago and have blocked thousands of hours of flight time. They will be replaced one at a time to allow for a smooth transition. The new choppers will be similar in size and shape as the current ones. That is our nightly check-in here on the NBC7 app. We're live on TV every night at 6 and 11. And you can keep track of the weather 24-7 with our NBC7 News app and also customize the forecast to your neighborhood and sign up for severe weather alerts too. Have a good night.